Commissioner uh, Hoag's first report comes to conclusions and findings that are starkly different from what the Trudeau government has told us over the last 18 months and conclusions and findings that are different from the report of Mr. Johnson of a year ago. Mm -hmm. She concluded that interference occurred in the last two general elections. And while this interference did not have an impact on which party came to power, it could have had an impact on the results at the riding level. And she concluded that it impacted the broader electoral system, that it undermined public confidence in Canadian democracy, and that it disproportionately targeted and negatively affected diaspora communities, particularly the Chinese community. Shameful. Commissioner Hoag specifically concluded with respect to Mr. Dong's nomination in Don Valley North that the suspicion that Beijing interfered in Mr. Dong's nomination was well-grounded and that this is significant because it could have determined the candidate who was elected to Parliament. She also concluded that Mr. Trudeau told her that he did not veto Mr. Dong's nomination because it would have direct electoral consequences because the Liberal Party was expected to win Don Valley North and she questioned why the Prime Minister did not take action as he said he was going to do after the election. With respect to Mr. Chu's election in Steveston, Richmond East, she concluded that there were strong indications of the PRC's involvement and that there is a reasonable possibility that the narratives could have impacted the results in this riding. And so this report is a damning uh, set of conclusions and findings in the first phase of this inquiry about what the Trudeau government has indicated over the last 18 months and contradicts much of what the government has told us over that period of time. We look forward to her continuing her work in the second phase of this inquiry. And now I'll pass along the podium to my uh, francophone colleague. Well, I'll, I'll answer in English first, and then uh, um, my colleague can answer in, in French for, the, for every, all of you. Uh, Mr. Trudeau uh, indicated that, uh, that this did not affect uh, the election results at the riding level. Uh, and Justice Ho concluded that while it's impossible uh, to prove this because we have a secret ballot in Canada, uh, that, it, uh, it, that, the, uh, that it did impact, um, in her language, uh, the broader electoral system, it undermined public confidence, disproportionately targeted diaspora communities, and that it uh, reasonably, one could reasonably uh, conclude that it could have had an impact at the riding level. That's very different than what the Prime Minister had been indicating to us mm -hmm. over the last 18 months. In yep. addition, uh, when, it come to, when it came to the intelligence uh, that the government was provided with respect to the nomination in Don Valley North, where uh, the intelligence uh, indicated that the PRC was coercing international students into voting under threat to having their visas revoked and their families targeted back home, and uh, coercing, corruptly uh, in interfering in that nomination by providing through proxy agents fraudulent addresses. Uh, the Prime Minister indicated uh, that the uh, intelligence, uh, in his view, was not actionable. Uh, he, the Justice Hoke, however, concluded uh, that the suspicion that the PRC interfered in that nomination was well-grounded uh, and that it is significant uh, because it could have impacted which candidate, which individual was elected uh, in uh, Don Valley North. So those are just two examples of the stark contrast uh, between not only uh, Mr. Johnson's report of last year, but what the government has been telling Canadians in Parliament over the last 18 months. The self-appointed rapporteur David Johnson had different than what the public found. Well, you, you don't will not, see the need to get the classified report. That's correct. I have, position of your party and his leader? Yeah, our position is that we have sufficient information from the public facing information released by the Commission both in this report and in the evidence that has been released to come to very strong conclusions. Last question. Do you know that Warren said that there are 
significant gaps in the nomination process and that the Liberals uh, need to relook at their process. Are, and Mr. LeBlanc just said he's got confident in that party's nomination process. Uh, do you have any response to that? And are you confident in the Conservative nomination process? I'm confident that the Conservatives have a very tight uh, party membership process. Uh, we require uh, members of the party to be either Canadian citizens or permanent residents of Canada, two very clearly defined matters in law. We also require uh, people to uh, purchase a membership, which uh, through either a credit card uh, or a personal check, um, that it has to be directly tied to that individual, which uh, makes it uh, much more difficult uh, for people to fraudulently uh, bypass the system. I think the Liberal Party uh, needs to tighten up its rules. I think it's clear through uh, this first report that there are major problems uh, with the way in which Liberals uh, have structured their party and their nomination rules. In fact, uh, Commissioner Hogue uh, indicated in her report that she will have more to say on this in the second phase of her inquiry. Can't wait for that. Uh, and it's clear in her conclusions in this first report uh, that, the, uh, that the intelligence that Beijing interfered uh, coercively and corruptly in assisting Mr. Dong in winning his nomination uh, were well-founded uh, and that this is significant uh, because it could have impacted uh, the individual who was elected to Parliament. Yes, uh, Madam, Madam, uh, Madam Oak did use the word suspicion. Um, uh, in lieu of intelligence, but I think we can safely say that that suspicion derived from the intelligence provided to the Prime Minister who did not take action uh, in the lead-up to that general election. Thank you. Thank you.